class 3 student now you have a new video in this video now you are going to learn lesson number four english course book lesson number four the name of the lesson just imagine so now you have a poem in lesson number four so before you start reading the poem now let's do one activity here ponder we all love to imagine and daydream about things people and places imagine yourself to be an and draw things around you from your perspective say we all love to imagine and daydream about things, people, and places. Akoi miyebe puna magse. Imagine tawo. Imagine have di vaab na saaba. And daydream ko about things. Kaya gumba posa amagi maranda na ta miyegi maranda na ta lamamgi maranda. Akoi se vaab na saaba laga kan ba se yam na hay yam na ngam meba. Imagine yourself to be an N. Nang se kak sing ne na kal loba. Ado ka draw things around you from your perspective. Kwa ado ka nangi akoi ba da lay ba. Posak sing da. Sigi space si da. Ye wa hai ba. Noi ne yek ning ba posak kara. So. Try to draw yourself. Whatever you like. Anything. Just draw here. Before reading the poem, now let's try to know something about the voice of this poem. So, Santini Govindan is a widely published award-winning author of children's literature in English. She has written more than 50 books, including poetry, picture books and short stories for children of all ages. She is a dog lover and art enthusiast whose hobbies include collecting vans. Say Sai Parting I Mamanda Huina writer Ko Sai Fu Iba Poitis Ko Santini Govindan Gimanda Kaigumba Kara Santini Govindan is a widely published award-winning author of Sindran literature in English. English is the English literature in English. The author of how one of you is the award-winning author. She has written more than 50 books, including Poetry, Sayin Kyame Dami, then Pixel Books, God. Pixel Niam Yoba, Book Like Sing, and Sword Stories, God. What you must attend, but Pogtak Piba Yaba, what you may amam Suidami, for Sindren of all essays, God. Tongan Tongan, but Angang Sahi Group, Singi Oba. Sword Stories, my amam Idami, but she is a dog lover, Maze, Hui Yam Nusiba, writer Amani, and Art enthusiasts whose hobbies include collecting bales. So, this is some description regarding the poetess Santini Govindan. So, now let's start reading the poem. If crocodiles had to brush their teeth the way I do, Every morning and night, just imagine the number of toothbrushes they would need to give all those rows of teeth sparkling white. If elephants had to use handkerchiefs every time they sneeze or had a bad cold, just imagine how many hankies they would have to wash and iron and fold.
if giraffes had to wear ties around their necks like i do to school every day just imagine how long those ties would be and how they would dangle flutter and sway if scientists had to wear boots with laces all fastened and tied of tight just imagine what a tangle of legs there would be if just one of those laces wasn't done of right if syndrome like me had wings like birds with wings we could fly and soar of high just imagine how many syndrome there would be zooming about in the sky so this is the end of the poem and the poem is written by santini govin dan in this uh, first uh, four line of the poem what the poet said is that if the cocotine had brushed their teeth they need a lot of brush in order to keep their rows of teeth sparkling fine so in order to keep the teeth of the cocodrine uh, sparkling white the poet says that so many toothbrushes will be required to keep those cocodrine's teeth white ahan begi line mari sina hai se masagi cocodrine gi maya se ngorong na thamna bagi damakta kai guba makhoi gi maya se brush to bataara ga di tut brush me ama ma sanglam gani hai bane poi sina hai se ko so if cocodiles had to brush their teeth the way i do every morning and night just imagine the number of tooth brushes they had need to keep all those rows of teeth sparkling white yan ta ni ko ahan de gi লাইন মাজি সি হাই কোকোডাইন কি মাসে নরক নৌ থামকে হাই তাড়ি আহই খালগ এব কোকোডাইন কি মাসে লংরক নৌ থামবাই তুত ব্রাশ কয়াম চলগতো কয়াম চলগতো খালগ এবো হয় দেন নেক্স ফোর লাইন নেক্স সেকেন্ড স্টেন ইফ ইলিফেন্স হেড টু ইউজ হ্যাঙ্কল শিপস every time they sneeze or had a bad cold just imagine how many hankies they had have to us an iron and fall kai gumba elephant na hanker sip season and batana ba makhoi na hakthi he khan ba khudin gi na tagana makhoi je lok he thung ba khudin gi hanker sip season and batam তাড়ি ইলিফেন হ্যাঙ্কল শিপ কয়াম দরকার মোয় হ্যাঙ্কল শিপ কয়াম লেমগত হয় নই ইমাজিন তোব ভাব সাহু লোক থানি নবসব কান হ্যাঙ্কল শিপ সিজিনব আদা লোক থবসব খেত খে ইলিফেন কীগুব লোক থব হাকিগব ওরি মোয়ী হ্যাঙ্কল শিপ মচাদ হ্যাঙ্কল শিপ মসম দরকার ওমগনে সো পয়তিস কো সান্তিনি গোবিন্দান হাই ইলিফেন কীগুব হ্যাঙ্কল শিপ সিজিনব আদি তাই হ্যাঙ্কল শিপ কয়াম সিজিনগতো আদ খু হয় টু ওয়েস এন্ড আইরন এন্ড ফোল কো মোয় হ্যাঙ্কল শিপ সে ওয়াস আমি তৌন হোটনবনে দেন আইরনিং কো স্টি আমি তৎন হোটনবনে থুপচনবু হোটনবনে মোয়সে আওয়াব so if elephants had to use hanker sips every time they sneeze or had a bad cold just imagine how many hankies they had have to us an iron and fall so if elephant use hanker sips every time they sneeze or had a bad cold so they may use many many hanker sips 
and they may require so many handkerchiefs. Next third stanza, if giraffes had to wear ties around their necks like I do to school every day, just imagine how long those ties would be and how they would dangle, flutter and sway. <coughs> so suppose if uh, giraffe wear neck ties like the poetess wear neckties whenever she goes to school. Say, just imagine how long the ties would be for the giraffe. Say, suppose if the giraffe wear a necktie, their necktie will be very, very long. And when the winds come, their necktie will be dangled, then will be flutter and sway. Hi, buddy. Giraffe na kai gumba. Nectai yalam bataraba. A coin is kunza bada, nectai yan badumina. A duta di zirabki nectai se as a gimatic sangam caneva. A duga kai gumba nuxisila comatamda. Zirabki nectai se. Pere 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 hairaga. Nakanda muhai na yet na yet pere pere hairam caneva. Makoji nectai se. So if zirab has to wear a nectai. So you just try to imagine. How long the necktie will be? Go. Kai gumba zirab ki na necktie yalam ta agadi ma koi ki necktie do kai am sang am gada ki hai bese no isana imazin ta wo kallo. Then in the fourth stanza, matangi marisuba stanza. If centipedes had to wear boots with laces, all fastened and tied up tight. Just imagine what a tangle of legs there would be if just one of those legs wasn't done of right. Say, Kaigumba centipede. Centipede means those insects having many legs. Ado mokong masam 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 ay ampan ba ko na nasan kaya hay kung na ba to? Ado kung ba centipedes to na kaya kung mamay ki mokong masam masam ay ampan ba? But ang mga mamtong ang bata ay kalas kalas eh ay tadi mamay ki but ki kung mali may ampan to. Ado pasa na lo ay na fasten tao ko matam da mamay ki kung mali may ampan to. Amaga amaga pangyat ay yasan na lang kaya ba? Ado kaya ham ti ham na yasan na kada kaya hay ba to? Yung kalo ba? Then, if just one of those lessons wasn't done upright, kai gumba makoi ki kung sin makong sin do na tong yung babut mayam do ki kung marido kai gumba ama yasalam de kalas eh ay tadi kadi thoka de kaya do noy isana ba na imagine do mo ba say if centipedes wear boots in their legs. So many boots will be there to wear in their legs. So, if you have a boot, you will have a boot. So, if you have a boot, then for a boot, so many lessons will be there. So, if you have a boot, you will have a boot. So, if you have a boot, then you will have a boot. Then, in the last stanza, Last four line. If Sindran like me had wings like bird with his we could fly and soar of high, just imagine how many Sindran deer would be zooming about in the sky. So suppose uh, if the Sindran had wings like bird, kaygumba ang ang mayam si usie kita yata masalo ina palam patara ba. Aduh itu agak di ati ada kong angang macam apa kong kau bayi bayi nak lagi yang kau never just imagine how many children there would be kong nangju bap nak lagi yang apa kau kumpa angang sini usia kita itu masa apa lagi bayi bayi yang dah agak di ati ada tak sih dah angang kau yang lagi yang kau tak kira apa sih kau lagi yang apa zooming about in the sky kong Atiyama taksida ngang 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 
So this is the end of the poem. So then now let's look at the exercise. Exercise they answer this question with reference to the context. Say number one, just imagine how many hankies they had have to waste and iron and fall. Say so for this uh, point, all the question answers all the question answers had been given to you by your teachers then see the next pass say question number two question number three all for right there question answer then exercise B answer this question say for this also you got the answer Say, try to buy her those question answer. Then, poetry appreciation. Say, A, write a word that is very close in meaning to the given words. Then, write a word that means it's opposite. Say, write a word that is very close in meaning to the given word. Makanda Philippa Wasiga Yamna, meaning Naknaba Wahayama Iwaba. Then write a word that means it's opposite. Aduga magi opposite so ever what to you have any. Kang yeko. So for this also, all the answer provided by your teacher. Let's see again next space. Then exercise B, complete the crossword using these clues. Say, a cross, then down. Sigi clue, see the PDF clue, sing jigi matung inna, si si, then chalu haimne. A cross hai gana, saine pai fai na mean gani. Aduka down hai gana, yung yung na laakpa si, down gawe. Say number one, it is to something. Kai gumba ma da fa wa hai bani, daddy fasten ida ni. So number one answer, you have to write fasten. Number one, giddy, a queen is it fast than Melanie. Then number two, a cross key number two, the toothbrush. Answer. Then number four, the sandy fat. Then number six, the zooming. Then down the end, see, fly quickly and lightly, heavenly. They flutter, say, flutter, yani. Then number three, Sway, S W A Y Sway. Then number five, number five, the dangle. See the dangle, Melanie. Go. Then exercise C. Write a short form to imagine something your pet could do. Go. Nangi yum da yok ba pet. Nangi yum da yok sa ba hui oiro hong dong oiro. Adu tu na kari taorong ba. Ngambaya ba ke hai bhi ki maram da short poem amma khak ee yo hai ba ni kwa. So this try to do yourself kwa. Sigi exercise si ma di na koi na sa na kwa. Ii ba ngambara na try to sa ro kwa. Nang nangi yum da hui yok pra. Nangi hong tong nuksi ba lai pra. Adu ki maram da ma na tau ba ngam gani khan ba. Po sak da nang na poem ma sa ma. Lain a hum ba di ma nga ki ma ti amma ee yo hai ba ni. So for this try to do yourself then lastly so try to learn by heart the poem ko sigi poem si by heart tok tok na ko na ro so this is the end of the lesson number 4 so student for this lesson just imagine all the question answers then uh, the exercise answer provided by your teacher so try to buy her all those question answers then try to buy her the poem so for this lesson i think you have 
got that study material so try to learn that study material and try to read the form again and again so for this exercise i think everything is complete so that's number four finish